Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Ed Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important topic of quantum mechanics and also the most requested topic. So that is WKB approximation method. And now with this video, I'm going to make you familiar with this topic that what are the things we can find out with this particular method. Also, when you can use this formula. So all these things we are going to discuss in this video video and in the next video I will uh, discuss the question related to it okay so let's uh, start this video and if you will like the video please like it share it with your friends and also you can subscribe the channel if you are new on this channel so let's start this video so guys first of all WKB method is okay when can we use it and can find it to use it so basically it is useful in calculating bound state energies and what we mean by bound state energies and what, when you will use this method everything I will make clear okay in this video so keep on watching the video till the end so basically hum QWKB method ko use karte hai ya jo sabse zyada like majority of questions hai from this particular topic to usme aap se yehi poocha jata hai that what is the bound state energy Okay, for any system, they will ask about the bound state energy. Now, next thing is, there are few points which we need to know. Like, look, condition for validity of WKB approximation. Now, there can be direct question from this particular topic or from this thing. Okay, direct question will be. And those who will be familiar with the condition, they will be easily able to take the correct answer and like they will get the marks for that particular question. But if we have not studied the condition, what is the validity condition, kya hai, so it will be difficult for us to answer this type of questions. So that's why it's important to know about this thing as well. Okay? So guys, the condition for validity of WKB approximation is that d lambda bar x, uh, lambda we are considering it as a function of x, okay? dx at its mod should be very much less than 1, okay? Now, in some of the books, you can also find that, okay, there will be lambda mentioned. So, depending on the options will, which will be given to you, you will consider that particular point, okay? So, options ya to is term mein honge, ya to lambda ke terms mein honge. So, waha pe aapko pata chal jayega, okay? Otherwise, I have referred the standard books. So, unke through aap dekh sakte hai ki this will be the condition which you will find there, okay? Now, next, yaha pe agar hum baat kare lambda bar x ki. So, lambda bar x ki stage ko represent kar raha hai. So it is equal to lambda x upon 2 pi. Is it fine? And if we want to write it in terms of momentum, so how can we write it down? So we can write it h cut upon px, where p is the momentum, okay, which is also a function of x. So it's like we should know this condition. Agar yaha pe lambda bar ki value put kar di jai, then the condition will change a little bit, okay. So wo uske according bhi aapko options mein condition di gai ho sakti hai. That's why it should be clear to us that what are the things, what are their representation and the formulae, okay? So let's talk about the next important point. Abhi tak humne do points discuss ki hai. First is that when we will use the WKB approximation method to find or to calculate the bound state energies, is it fine? And also kya condition is ki validity ki? So this is the condition and yaha pe lambda bar kya represent kar raha hai? Same. It has been mentioned here. Okay. Now, guys, uh, like whatever things I am going to discuss through this video and in the next video, these video videos will be in continuity. Okay. Like after this video, you will get the another video based on the WKB approximation method in which I am going to discuss the question based on it so that you will get a clear idea. And also, I hope that after watching these videos, both the videos, you will find the topic very easy you will find it very easy to use the method in the questions and to get the answer okay so next thing which is very important is to know about the classical turning points or we can say turning points what we mean by them so basically agar aap un points ki baat kare agar hum baat kar rahe hai potential or x ki graph ki okay vx graph ki so in this case if you will look at this graph which i have considered and here, I am saying that, okay, this is the energy line I have drawn here. This is the total energy of the particle. So, this is the total energy of the particle which is here, okay. Now, this total energy is going to become equal to the potential energy. This is also the potential energy in this case, this one, okay. So, the, here at this point, I can name it as A and this is as B, okay. So, at point A, 
the total energy of the particle is going to become equal to the potential energy. Is it fine? Okay. Or it should be clear to everyone that here the potential energy is this one. Also the total energy is this. So at the points A and B, total energy of the particle will be equal to the potential energy of the particle. Okay. And these points are known as A and B points are known as the classical turning points. Now why we call them the classical turning points? Because what happens here is that when the momentum is the classical formula uh, hai, momentum ke liye, that is this one. P is equal to square root 2m e minus v. And when we will solve the questions, you will use this formula a lot of times. Like not a lot of times, but you will use karna padega initially. Hai. So you should know about this formula of momentum. Because it will help you solve questions. So here we see, if we talk about points A and B, ki baat karte hai, Yahan pe kya hai? E is equal to V hai. Okay? The total energy is equal to potential energy hai. And corresponding to that, what will happen? The P, agar hum yahan pe E or V ko equal rakhe, to yahan pe momentum kya hoga? That will be equal to zero. Is it fine? Aar momentum zero hai is point par. Iska matlab kya hoga? Ki particle will stop at this point. Okay? A and B like both ke liye agar hum baat kare, to particle should stop at this point. And then it should move back in the opposite direction. Okay? To continue its motion. So here, is it a turning point? It should turn back. Okay, naam se clear hona hai na, turning point. Matlab, yahan pe aake particle ko kya karna chahiye? It should turn back in the opposite direction. So uh, classically the particle stops at the point xi. Let's consider this point is xi. Okay. And returns back to resume its motion in the opposite direction. Is it fine? Okay. So that's why we are saying that okay, these are the classical turning points we are having. Now, out of these informations, whatever informations I have discussed with you here in this, uh, like, uh, till now. So, this is very important. Try to memorize this one. Another thing is, this uh, formula of momentum is important. And you should be familiar with the point, ki turning points, kya hote hain. Or kin points ko turning points ka hata hai. So, basically, as a points, jin par total energy jo hoti hai particle ki, that will be equal to the potential energy of the particle. Those points are known as, the classical turning points. Is it fine? Okay, I hope that whatever things I have discussed till now will be clear. Now, discuss, let's discuss some of the other important points. Okay, just so that you can solve these questions on this topic very easily. Kar paenge, hai? So, let's cover some other important points. Cover karte hai, then, we'll move to the question. Okay, so let's discuss some of the other important points. So, guys, uh, now we are going to talk about some of the other important points to solve the questions. Okay. So uh, basically the energy E depends on the presence of rigid walls in the potential well. Okay, that kitani rigid walls present hai. And what are the possible cases we are having in this case? Uh, see, there can be no rigid wall. Jab hum potential well ki baat karenge, to jaise ye potential well given hai. Thik hai? Yahan pe dekhe, koi bhi rigid wall present nahi hai. It is just only this much. Okay, now if we will talk about this one. So here we are having a single rigid wall. So this is the single rigid wall we are having. Okay. Now next we are having two rigid walls case. So itne possible cases ho sakte hain. Thik hai. Ho sakta hai ki koi bhi rigid wall present down jo bhi potential will aapko given ho ya jiske corresponding aapko potential expressions given ho. Okay. And the conditions on those uh, on the potential. Okay. So wahan pe aapko dekhna padega and many a times you have to draw the potential well on your own. So, we have to practice that how we can draw potential well ko draw kar sakte hai, and how can we identify this thing that how many rigid balls are there. Okay? And when we will solve the questions, all these points will get clear. Also, in some of the books, they have mentioned the separate formula for separate cases. When there is no rigid ball, the case is like this. Also, here the x1 and x2 are the points for the turning points, which are going to represent the turning points because here E is equal to V. Okay, at this point as well as at this point. So, these points are the classical turning points. Okay, so what do we have to do here? We are going to integrate between x1 to x2 in this case. This is just for this case. And px, what will be the value of momentum? Square root 2m e minus v. Okay, we have discussed that dx is equal to m minus 1 by 2 pi h curve. Okay, and here m can be equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on too. So, this is a particular case ke corresponding equation. Hai. And if you want to find the energy, 
ठीक है ई अगर आपको फाइंड करना है तो यहाँ पे आप मोमेंटम की वैल्यू पुट करेंगे जो फॉर्मूला पढ़ा था स्क्वायर रूट टू एम इन टू ई माइनस वी ओके एंड एवरीथिंग इज इन साइड द स्क्वायर रूट नाउ विद दैट पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला यू बी एबल टू गेट द एनर्जी एक्सप्रेशन फ्रॉम हेयर नेक्स्ट आता है ये केस जब सिंगल रिजिट बॉल प्रेजेंट है एंड विच वॉल इज द सिंगल रिजिट बॉल ये इसको कहा जा रहा है ठीक है तो वर्टिकल वॉल भी कह सकते हैं या सिंगल रिजिट बॉल भी कह सकते हैं Now in this case, what will happen? We can say that it is zero, ठीक है तो यहाँ पे जो फॉर्मूला होता है फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ लाइक सिस्टम और दिस काइंड ऑफ पोटेंशियल वेल ठीक है तो वो क्या आप यूज कर सकते हैं आप यूज कर सकते हैं इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू एक्स टू पी एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू एन माइनस वन बाय फोर पाई एच कट एंड वी आर हैविंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ एन अगेन फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री एंड सेवन टू इन ट्वेंटी ओके ना नेक्स्ट इज टू रिजिट बॉल्स हेयर आई हैव ड्रॉन टू रिजिट बॉल्स ठीक है ये पोटेंशियल वेल है और ये दो रिजिट बॉल्स हमने ड्रॉ किए हैं अब देखिए यहाँ पे आप कहेंगे कि वाई आई हैव नॉट रिटर्न द फॉर्मूला हेयर ठीक है सो गाइज आफ्टर दिस आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अ कॉमन फॉर्मूला फॉर द डब्ल्यू के बी मैथड ओके जो आपको क्या करना है सिर्फ वो फॉर्मूला अगर आप ध्यान रखेंगे ना तो आप इजिली क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व कर पाएंगे एंड देर विल नॉट बी एनी डिफिकल्टी यू विल फेस टू सॉल्व एनी काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके तो जस्ट आपको वो फॉर्मूला याद करना है दिस इज माय सजेशन एंड इफ यू विल गो फॉर दिस लाइक ओके सिस्टम के और इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन में हम ये फॉर्मूला यूज करेंगे इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन में हम ये फॉर्मूला यूज करेंगे तो वहां पे कंफ्यूजन के चांसेस ज्यादा हैं, ठीक है बट स्टिल अगर आपको ये चीज कंफर्टेबल लगे यू आर लाइक कन्वीनियंट इन डूइंग इट इन दिस पे तो आप इसको भी प्रिफर कर सकते हैं अदरवाइज द कॉमन फॉर्मूला आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो यू कैन प्रिफर दैट फॉर्मूला जस्ट एक फॉर्मूला याद रखना होगा और यू विल बी इजिली एबल टू solve the question okay and you will be able to get the answer with that formula only so guys i hope that whatever points i have discussed in this video will help you to understand the wkb method also will help you to understand that okay how can you solve the questions and steps will get clear to you after knowing about all these points okay to jitna abhi humne discuss kiya hai those things are also very important but in the next video okay which will be uploaded after this video to us pe hum cover karenge एक जो कॉमन फॉर्मूला है विच इज द मेन फॉर्मूला ठीक है ऐसा नहीं है कि इनकी हेल्प से आप क्वेश्चन सॉल्विंग कर सकते इफ यू वांट यू कैन यूज देम एज वेल बट दैट फॉर्मूला इज लाइक किसी भी केस में आप अप्लाई कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो इसलिए वो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है और वो क्या है कि उसमें आपको बार बार अलग अलग फॉर्मूले यूज या याद नहीं करने पड़ेंगे उसमें जस्ट वी आर हैविंग वन फॉर्मूला कंडीशन के कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग हम वैल्यूज पुट करते हैं एंड आंसर फाइन कर सकते हैं ठीक है सो इन दिस वीडियो ऑनली दिस मच आई होप दैट द पॉइंट वी हैव कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो विल बी क्लियर टू एवरी वन बट स्टिल इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी डाउट एट एनी पॉइंट यू कैन लेट मी नो अबाउट दैट एंड आई विल ट्राई टू क्लियर योर डाउट अलॉन्ग विद दिस Don't forget to watch the upcoming video because in that I'm going to solve the question and also we'll discuss the important formula. Okay. Also, guys, you can follow me on Unacademy by searching my name Anjali Arora and uh, like you can watch the lessons and courses I have provided there. And uh, uh, next thing is, if you are new on this channel, please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for all the new videos on this channel. और आप वीडियोस को अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ भी शेयर कर सकते हैं ओके दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द सी एस आर नेट फिजिकल साइंस एग्जाम किट फिजिक्स एग्जाम ठीक है तो किसी भी फिजिक्स एंट्रेंस एग्जाम की अगर वो प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हैं फॉर एम और पीएचडी एंट्रेंस तो दे कैन वॉच द वीडियोज द वीडियोज विल हेल्प दम टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम्स ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड अगर वीडियो वीडियो पसंद आई हो तो लाइक कर दीजिएगा ओके थैंक यू